Yeah, so we're using the Codasys OPC um, DA server. So that's you know that application that we had opened up here, um, this configurator, and you need that. That's the license. Okay, to use this, you need that license paid hundred and um, what was it? One hundred and sixty euro for it. Now, as I said, I went for the the demo, but unless you're using an older version of Codasys. Um, you're not going to get it for free as far as I can see but again if anyone figures out anything do let me know so click on that and then we're going to browse so again you can see my um, my license will expire in 29 days this can get a little bit messy you can kind of have to click retry nearly a couple of times and you eventually get in but what you'll see is you actually get into see the my PLC and there's the application for it there's the program and then there's your two bits and your bytes. So um, I'm clicked on the inputs there. So um, or sorry, there, there's my outputs that's connected. So I'm looking for the output byte. Click OK. Click OK. Again, it takes a wee minute just for it all to kind of sync through. Sometimes you get a couple of errors as well popping up, but just try and kind of bully your way through. Do the exact same thing here again, OPC. Um, DA, browse first, again it'll give you warnings um, but it'll eventually kick through and and let you in. It'll find my PLC, so you got, that's why we got to have everything named correctly. Get the application, there's your inputs, your input bytes, click OK and then these will, will start to filter through. So just again make sure you have them the right orientation um, you know, label up correctly, just pay particular attention to the see if the ins and then the a's and then your outputs up here. It's a wee bit confusing, but that's the way it is. So then if you click play, um again it's just telling you that that license will expire. Um uh, so you know it's just again giving us some warnings. Um it might get some errors again as I said just try and bully your way through and then what you'll see is the system should work. So you see there it's extending and tracking the code has gone in. Okay, I hadn't done any any crazy code. But if you want to just see that side by side, if I move this across, you'll see as I trigger trigger the inputs, trigger the up uh, trigger the inputs, you can see it coming across on the other software there as well. So really cool when it actually does does work, but um seems to be a bit of a paid feature now that um, you're using updated software and I think that's really the main problem because there's all these little software packages that need to talk to each other if one vendor goes ahead and updates their stuff and you know you're counting on all the other vendors then to update um, their devices as well it just doesn't seem to happen overly well um, but they are some of the stuff that you need to download whether it's worth the money or not potentially um, it is a very cool cool feature when it does work and you know I know the code's very basic there but this is just and you could do really more sophisticated circuits, but this is just to show the, the application and how it works. Because I haven't seen too much out there. Any thoughts, comments, do, do let me know. That's brilliant. Cheers.